In his travels and studies, Jung saw mythologies as the expression of the collective unconscious. When stories, images or symbols appeared in similar form but in different cultures, he called them archetypes. These represent a common human inheritance of patterns of thought and action or basic psychological instincts. It is quite certain that uh, man is born with a certain functioning, a certain way of functioning, a certain pattern of behavior. And uh, that is expressed in the form of archetypal images or archetypal forms. For instance, the way in which a man should behave is given by an archetype. Yeah. And therefore, you see, the primitives tell such stories. Uh, a great deal of education goes through storytelling. He thought that scientific industrial man was suffered great psychic distress and frustration because the religious side of our nature was repressed. Jung was trying to speak to that, to bring it forward. According to the Jungian tradition, uh, our religions are produced something like works of folk art. Religion is the heart and center of culture, and it's through religion that we work out a common vocabulary of rituals and symbols, which together makes up a kind of house of meaning that we dwell in. Our particular vision of the universe, of human life, of human personal relations, and so on. In Africa, Jung sat with the Algoni men as they told their myths and stories. For instance, they call in a palaver of the young men and uh, to older men perform before the eyes of the younger all the things they should not do. <laughs> yeah. And at the end they say, no, that is exactly the thing you shall not do. Another way is they tell them of all the things they should not do. They then none you like the decalogue. Thou shalt not. Yes, yes. And uh, and that is always um, uh, supported by uh, mythological tales. For instance, our ancestors have done so and so. Uh, uh, and so you shall do. Yeah. Or such a, such a hero has done so and so, uh, and uh, that is your uh, model. Yeah. In Greek, you know, there was a Theseus, there was a Heracles, uh, models of fine men, of gentlemen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and they teach us how to behave. They are archetypes. I see. I archetypes see. of behavior. In his research and travel in Africa, America, and Britain, Jung absorbed mythological material and, above all, images to relate to his patients' dreams and the images of their unconscious. And everywhere, he found evidence of the collective unconscious. Author Robert Johnson. He discovered it in the unconscious of his own patients and in his own extraordinary experiences of dreams and visions and also in the mythology which fascinated him. The fact that mythology from every part of the world carries so many elements in common fascinated him. Well, there are certain myths that are timeless and universal, such as the hero myth, the, uh, the uh, trickster cycle, uh, of, uh, which you find among the American Indians or among African natives or in Australia or anywhere. These are on a primitive tribal level, but they can be found in the dreams of modern people just as well. And they are found in the Far East as well as in the Christian West. Uh, we think we are able to be born today and to live in no in without history. That's, that's, that is a, a disease that's absolutely abnormal because man is not born every day. He's once born in a in a specific historical setting with the specific historical qualities and therefore he is only complete when he has a relationship.